I'll be showing how to create and use rubrics in your assignments for Microsoft Teams in education. Now, what are rubrics? Rubrics are a great way to enhance transparency and assessment by using criteria. Now, let's go into the assignments into the top. I'm in my class team here and I'll create a new assignment. I'll click the create button and assignment. Now I'm going to fill out this assignment form pretty quickly, the title, the instructions and the resources, because we're going to focus on the rubric part. Okay, so my science project assignment is filled out and now it's ready to add the rubric. So I'm going to go down here and click add rubric. Now I don't have any rubrics right now and I'm going to create a new one. Now first off, we'll give the title. So this is my science project. I'll enter a description. Okay, and this is where it gets interesting. The grading criteria. So first off, I'll have a description and then I can have different criteria across these columns. So in this case, I might have excellent, good, fair or poor. Now, if I want to use points, I could do that too. And I'm going to go to the upper right and click on points. And now you can see there's points I could assign for each of those columns and I could customize this. If I want to add another row, I click on plus and I could add another row to fill out and a couple of rows here. I could even duplicate a row. So this little button here is to copy a row. What I'm going to do now is jump and fill out my rubric really quick. Now you can see I've filled out the rubric and I've got four criteria, experimental design, scientific results, data collection, and verbal expression. And each of the columns for excellent, good, fair, and poor describe exactly what the criteria are, which is great for students. Let's say I want to have experimental design be worth 40% and scientific results only worth 10%. I can do that. The other thing that's nice is let's say I was changing some of these and I didn't add them up to 100. If I hit attach, it'll catch me. Oop please adjust the weights to total 100%. I can go back and make sure it all totals 100%. Now I'm going to click attach. You can see the science project rubric is now attached, total of 100 points, and all that will be automatically calculated when we go into the grading experience. So now I'm going to make this assignment to my whole class. We'll set the due date to be tomorrow, and I'll click assign. I'll switch over to the student now and show what that experience looks like to turn in the assignment. Now I'm signed in as Alex, a student, and I'm going to click view assignment. Here's my assignment. I can see the instructions. There's a word doc and the rubric. And I'm just going to open this as Alex and see, oh, okay, this is what the teacher has set for criteria. I can see the weighting. Very, very helpful. Okay. Now I'm going to go and work on my assignment and really quick, I'm going to come back and add my work. Okay, I've added my work as a student and now I'm going to turn in my project, turn it. Now we'll switch back to the educator and show how grading with a rubric looks in Teams assignments. I'm signed back in as Kara, the educator, and I'm going to go to assignments here and I'm going to open up that assignment that I had made. I can see one of seven has been turned in and Alex down here turned his in. I click on Alex right here and now we're in the speed grader view. I can see the project turned in over here on the left. And on the right, you can notice there's this rubric that's been attached. I'll click science project. This is the compact view. So I can go through and select different criteria. If I drop this down, I can see the next criteria. And maybe I give them three on this. I drop this down and I can keep going. Now what happens is it automatically totals the points above based on those weightings that I set, which is really nice. Now I'm going to click done in the compact mode. If you want to go to the broader, bigger mode, I click this little pop out here. Now I can see the entire rubric. Again, I can go through and select the different points really fast and quick, which is nice. I can also give feedback on each criteria. So I can say excellent work and I can give things down here. So it's nice to have that pop out. I'll click done. I can also give feedback here for the overall project and then I can click return. Click close. That's a quick tour of rubrics in Microsoft Teams assignments and this will help increase transparency and in assessments. If you found this video useful, and you want to make sure you get all of my latest quick tip updates, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to get the notification.